Bugzoo Cloud consists of two distinct, very powerful dashboards. One is the user dashboard located on my.plugs.io, and the other is the management dashboard on manage.plugs.io. Both run very well on mobile and web, so they're platform agnostic. During this short video, I'm going to show you a demo of both of these dashboards and their top features. As you may know, Plugzio outlets are off by default, so the user who wants to access electricity has to activate them. Each Plugzio has a QR code and an outlet ID located on the front cover, just like a parking meter. In fact, some of our clients use Plugzio as parking meters, allowing the users to pay for parking and charging at the same time. As soon as the user inputs the plug ID here, the dashboard will show them the payment plan assigned to this outlet. We will later see payment plans created on the management dashboard. Let's try a random ID here. We press on activate. And as you can see, it says you do not have access to this outlet. Thankfully, the user's most recently activated outlets are listed right here saving the user time on future activations on the same outlet. Now let's try to activate this outlet ID. As you can see, the user has shown the charge on this outlet, which they have to confirm to access electricity. In this case, it's 20 cents per hour. The session history page allows the user to view their historical usage in details. The user in here can define different search criteria or time ranges. And also they can dig deeper into each session by viewing the details. The details window shows a comprehensive chart for the session, including start time, end time, consumption, duration, and the amount the user paid for the session. On top of these, they can also view the voltage and current the device was drawing at any point of time. As an example, this device was drawing 101 volts and 11.26 amps at 3.20 p.m. Let's move on to the wallets tab. Now this is where the user gets to see a list of their monetary transactions. Clicking on each transaction shows a detailed window of that specific session. Now each user may create multiple wallets in multiple currencies, such as a business wallet and a personal wallet. Now, topping up a wallet is very simple. Plugzio has partnered with PayPal as a trusted source to handle the credit card processing. A note that PayPal charges 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. So here the user inputs the amount they want to top up their wallet with, accept the terms. And on the next page, they get redirected to PayPal where they, they finish the transaction. And after that, the money is credited to their online wallet. Now, each user also has access to a feedback button that they can use to communicate to us directly. We take pride in our customer service and strive to make the Plugzio platform better every day. Now, let's move on to the management dashboard. As you can notice, the management dashboard is on a totally different domain, with a different user logging into it. And the, the users do not have access to the management dashboard and vice versa. Now the manager also has a wallet attached to their dashboard. And as you can see, the money that was taken, taken off of the user's wallet is directly deposited into the manager's wallet as a credit. And note that the Plugzio Cloud does not take any commissions on transactions. Now, just like a user, a manager can also have multiple wallets in multiple currencies. So the revenue generated from different outlets can go into different wallets, allowing the management to easily separate the accounts. Best use case for this is management companies who manage multiple properties on separate accounts. And as you notice, the default method of money extraction is PayPal, which in turn deposits the money directly into manager's account. Alternatively, we can send management periodic checks or work with their preferred financial institution to extract the money on their wallet. Let's move on to the analytics dashboard. This is where the management gets an overview of every activity on their outlets. They can see total sessions, total consumption, total duration, and total revenue. They can filter results based on any criteria they want, and even search for specific users or outlets Let's say management wants to look at usage for a specific user called Julie. 
here the input Julie in the search criteria. And as you can see, every number updates based on this search criteria. They can also do this for specific IDs or ID or outlet descriptions. Management can also export data in an Excel format to be used in external reporting. Now let's look at payment plans. This is where the management can define the criteria to charge for usage. Payment plans can be created on based on multiple criteria. One is activation fee. So a flat rate every time the user activates the outlet based on duration, just like parking or based on consumption, kilowatt hours, jurisdiction depending, of course. And as you can see, each payment plan is attached to a wallet where the revenue from this plan will get deposited into. There is no limit on the number of payment plans a manager can create. And as you can see, I have defined a few examples here. And a manager can also mix and match different criteria. And time of day based criteria will also be added as an option in future releases. Let's move on to the most powerful page of Plugzio Cloud, which is outlet management. This is where the manager can see all of their outlets on their management and can assign payment plans to individual outlets and or users. Outlets can be set to be public or private. Private outlets can only be accessed by specific users defined by the manager. And as you can see, each user can be on a different payment plan. As an example, this user is on a 20 cents per hour plan. Users not listed here will be denied access to this outlet. On the other hand, outlets can be public, meaning anybody with an access to the outlet ID or the QR code can activate it. Now, a public outlet needs to have a public payment plan. This is the charge that the general public must adhere to when activating this specific outlet. Now, even though the outlet can be accessed publicly, the manager can assign separate payment plans to specific users. As an example, Ali here is on a free plan, even though the public payment, the public has to pay 20 cents per hour. A good example of this is apartment complexes where the concierge can be on a free plan compared to residents who have to pay. Outlets can be on one of the three power settings. Smart mode, which enables all the smart functionalities for the outlet. Always on mode, which acts as a dumb outlet. So the outlet turns into an always on outlet. The electricity is always flowing and an always off mode which acts as if the breaker is off and the outlet cannot be used. These modes were created. So using the Plugzio Cloud APIs, you can actively manage outlets based on properties electrical signature. So if the property is using a lot of power using Plugzio Cloud, outlets can be turned off to decrease the load and save money for the property. Thank you so much for viewing our demo. We would love to hear from you. So feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or comments. Have a good one.